Right, I'm recording. We're all good to go. Oh, everybody's recording. Are we mm-hmm. ready for this Jaws extravaganza? We are ready for the greatest sequel ever made. All right. Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> Jaws. Go. <laughs> oh, Jenny, that's the scary logo. <laughs> <laughs> Jaws 2 came out in 1978, three yep. years after the original, and can you can clearly see how they did not ha- know how to do summer blockbusters at this time. <laughs> Sequel to summer <laughs> so, blockbusters. They thought, let's just do this, the first film again. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's why I don't like it, which, it's, in truth, I don't think this is a terrible movie, but like, it really is Jaws 1 only like the goofy action movie version. Yeah. And it, and it drags some things out which it doesn't need to. I know Matt really likes this movie for some reason. And you so does Chris really Stuckman. aren't selling this movie too well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't bring <laughs> it up right now. Yeah, yeah. This is the best film. Ever. Okay. No, I, I like the film. <laughs> it's like out of all the jo- out of all the shark movies out there in the world, this is definitely in the top tier. It's the it's probably like number 3 behind the, number one is obviously Jaws, and then I guess Deep Blue Sea would be the second place, right? And then a huge gap, and then this, and, <laughs> and then another huge gap. And but you know, I prefer Jaws four out of the sequels, just because if you're gonna, it's have fun. It, it's so it's stupid. fun. Yeah, but this one's interesting. Michael Caine's great in that movie. Yeah, well, this one's interesting because John Williams comes back to do the score. So out of all the returning, yeah, but oh, obviously all no, the cast members, no Spielberg. Um, nope. Yeah, I don't I remember any of this. Uh, they? Finding Nemo, for? but what's that? I said I definitely prefer Finding Nemo, but that's okay. Finding Nemo, yeah. that's definitely top tier. Isn't the shark in that movie named after the animatronic Bruce? Bruce. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what they named the the fake shark in Jaws was Bruce. Oh, it's the orca. Why do you know that? Everybody knows that, right, I Jack? Won't. That's in the <laughs> cult- that's in the cultural zeitgeist. <laughs> <laughs> that's the orca so this is the wreckage of the first movie yeah. um, How many, oh wait like... I, I do remember this that's right it's one of those movies are they going to find some blood of the shark and then like clone it <laughs> no I wish <laughs> they're trying to find the ship just to kind of get a chunk of uh, shark meat to bring it back so I this know. is one of the reasons I thought it was silly is like they they go overboard with this in Jaws four, but like right here, they're like, oh, I'll just wait, <laughs> watch it play out. <laughs> how, many, how many shark? <laughs> how many shark movies begin like underwater like this? I know that seems like a pretty, obvi- <laughs> pretty obvious, pretty obvious <laughs> question because sharks are in the water, but that's like, where they live. But Jaws one starts with those couple on the beach going for a swim. Mm-hmm. And you don't mm. see underwater at all, but there's so many. Like shark films I've seen that start off with yeah. like scuba divers. So I yeah, guess the great white exactly. shark was just waiting right around mm-hmm. the wreckage of the. The shark's not exactly going to get you in a dark alley in a bad place in town, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Clayton, do you remember the from the law what the name of this shark is according to it's the Bruce? Deep... <laughs> yes, it, the name of the shark is Brucette. Brucette. <laughs> it's it's the the wife of the first shark apparently. <laughs> the wife of it. You're lying. No, that's literally. <laughs> if you look up on the Jaws Wiki or the Jaws fan Wikipedia, there's like a whole backstory the fans have given to all the sharks, and it's so <laughs> funny. Oh no! Because they take it so Bruce, seriously. Bruce is the shark, and I think in the third one, it. Wait, no, they skip the third one, but in the fourth one, it's vengeance, and it's like. Isn't, the there offspring Bru- isn't there Brucetta as well, or something? Brucetta in the... No, I don't remember what they named the one in Jaws 3. <laughs> Do they I have remember like the witch like doctor, like Papa Jacques. Jacques. Don't worry, I'll, I'll look this up for us. Because <laughs> now I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, those Bruce and Bruce, uh... Listen to our Jaws 4 commentary where we went all in on like reading that on the, <laughs> on the commentary. <laughs> and we were just crying with laughter. Was I drunk re- watching that? I might have been. We're always drunk watching. I'm drinking beer now. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap! Going I need again. to get myself something. Yeah, get that reminds me, Jack. We were, we were talking, like when we were talking about how um, in Tremors, like how 
it's like one of those hidden subcultures that unless you're actually in it, you have no idea it exists and just how expansive it is. Yeah, mm. yeah. Actually, I've got oh. Tremors 2 and 4 next to me as well. They're films I want to do commentary for. Oh, yeah, we got a yeah, lineup. up time. actually good. good. I love Tremors 2. Tremors 2 introduced, like, the little raptor graboids. Yeah, it was mm. full of Jurassic Park. Like, that was when Jurassic Park was all the rage, so they tried to cash yeah. in on that kind of thing. Hey, just so you guys know, Jaws 3 is Brucetta. Yes, I knew it was <laughs> <laughs> <Some> Brucetta. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like an Italian bread dish. That's what it yeah. sounds like. Bro, I thought you guys were kidding about no. the, <laughs> the wiki. <laughs> this is ridiculous right now. Didn't they say, like, vengeance was born after this shark dies? Yeah, like, when this one dies at the end of the film, that's when it's born. Like, as soon as it dies. It's born. They say Dude, it cannibalizes. The shark's sick. name is really vengeance. <laughs> According to the I fans, thought you were just kidding. No, no, it's not. Not in the films. It's like they don't it. mention it in the movie, yeah. but like. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why it's funny because it's like the fans are trying to connect the dots and build this <laughs> canon around these four movies, and it's just so funny. It'd be like <laughs> us naming the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park, like Bill, Biffy, and Ned, or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vengeance. And they've got they've got like a, a some kind of like love triangle going on. Right. It's got. A, Vendetta against the other, they, and I <laughs> pick the, out one of the ones in the long grass in the Lost World. Like, There's Ned. He lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the big Velociraptor died at the end of Jurassic Park, as soon as the T Rex bit it, it like popped an egg out, and that raptor is blue. <laughs> yeah, <later> exactly. <laughs> this reminds me of the tree? beginning of uh, Batman Returns. <laughs> Why have they got a little money bit? Yeah. Because <laughs> in this place, money literally does grow on trees. Not to bring the mood down at the start, but there's a really sad story about the actor who plays the mayor. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> about that? I think his Let's wife was it. dying at the time they started filming this, Ooh. or something, or he found it out halfway through filming, or she died during filming, or something like that. And there's a point in the film where you can tell, like he is so depressed. Oh, oh but it, but God. but it really actually adds to the what's happening in the film. The performance that point in the film, yeah. He's like, yeah, I guess I'd it's happening it. again, and like I'm gonna lose. Like, oh my God, I'm the mayor of a second shark attack. <laughs> it, it always made it always made me think that, you know, what one of the fundamental things wrong with this movie, you know, they brought all the old cast back, which is great, but I don't know, is he the mayor in this? I think he is still the mayor. Uh, yeah, I, is, I'm pretty sure he is. Mayor? I can't remember. Larry Vaughn. I always thought that like he he needed to be fired and nowhere near like high status. He should have been I, like running a shop somewhere in town. I just wish that they did more with his like like he felt really guilty over what happened in the first movie because he was mm -hmm. all like, "No, nah, we're gonna open the beaches on the Fourth of July," and then you know people yeah. get eaten and shit. And he does feel guilty in that movie because he's like, "My kids were on that beach." Right. Yeah. But it's like in Iron Man 2, where Tony Stark's still a drunk. It's like, well, I guess Iron Man 1 didn't happen the way I fucking remember it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot. Jaws 2 is like a slasher movie with teenagers. Yep. That looks like Shelly from Friday the 13th Part 3. <laughs> That's like the Have 70s you... Seth Rogen. I hate Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting that out there. <laughs> yeah, he's such a dick. <laughs> he's Did certainly you see his fallen Twitter post. No, he's about, certainly fallen um, off the wagon. Robbed. I What'd think you say, uh, Joey. His Twitter about uh, his Twitter post about getting robbed or his car getting broken into. Yeah, in Los Angeles, he's like, you just need to expect it happening. It's like, you what? Just... Yeah, and he what said, like, at least I have a knife or something like that that he, the person like, left. Yeah, and he's like an elite. And he's telling all the normal people, look, just let your, soul, you, just let your car get robbed, man. It's part of living in a city. Dude, just like, just like, buy a new car. What yeah, you, just buy a new car. <laughs> Stop being poor. It's so yeah. out of touch. It's like weird. It's weird because he, he wasn't out of touch at the beginning of his career i think it's if you yeah, if you build your career around the fact that you smoke lots and lots and lots of weed <laughs> it's kind of bound to happen really isn't it <laughs> yeah so what we know so far is a couple of divers went down to get 
like photographs from the orca. They got eaten, and now we're watching like a normal, you know, drama Dang. around. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing to say about this film, though, is like, you know, Roy Schneider and Lorraine Gray and Murray Hamilton, who play the mayor and stuff, like, they all put in the performance. The, 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 yeah, these, these oh, lack of a better word, legacy characters from the first film. The kids yeah. are all like hit and miss. But yeah, I I think the problem though, Jack, is that they're not the main focus of the movie. It's those stupid teenagers yes. on the sailboats. Yeah. Well, Was it just a case that you got these guys' name on the on the outside of the uh, the on the film poster, so people mm. would just go see it? Well, they're in the movie, but they're in the movie kind of like how uh, Bill Murray's in Space Jam. <laughs> like <they're... laughs> Bill Murray's in Space Jam. <laughs> what you've never seen Space Jam? <laughs> I <laughs> uh, the last time I saw it, I must have been about eight years old. Honestly, oh, you're missing out. <laughs> we need to out. watch that. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, like Roy I have Schneider's... nothing but fond memories of it, of course. But yeah. Roy Schneider's character is in this like a lot for the first half. Oh then... wow, there's the shark. They're already showing it. Yeah, that's yeah. actually pretty effective, though. Got the fin. Yeah, but this is this is the problem with the first film. It wasn't all about the shark, but this one. No. Like... The... Yeah, the shark's here, dude. That first jaw scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> and my wife and I, uh, the other night, she hadn't watched Jaws in decades, and she's like, I don't mm. really remember anything from it. So, got a couple of bottles of wine in, and we made a night of watching Jaws. And by the end of the night, she was like, "That is one of the best movies I've ever seen." I it's was like, dude, you can you can tell that was Spielberg's Jurassic Park, like in the seventies, because the. It was the more that like I was pitching the case. I said to Emma, like, I was like, the, this film is not really about the shark. It's about the people on the island. Mm -hmm. It's like the shark's in it a bit, but it's not about. It. It's about the relationship of all these characters, and that is what it's about. And that's what's interesting because they're the way they play off of each other. But when they show the shark in that first movie, I think yeah, it makes it worth it. Terrible, dude. When the the dude in the boat is coming to check up on him, it's like, hey, you guys, all right? And you see the shark just like grab him as soon as it tips it, it over that's and... the most realistic shot of any shark in aside from the in actual real shark shots in jaws obviously one. but in yeah. jaws one that's with the animatronic shark that's where it looks mm -hmm. the most realistic i think there's only one scene in jaws one that looks fake to me and that's when it jumps on the boat mm. and it's like a two second shot like it's mm -hmm. it's my, not that long my ones where it sticks its head inside the the boat and he has to put the gas canister in its mouth, and it's like that going, it, it's like mouths flapping open. It's going. Oh well, yeah, that's true. It is floppy. <laughs> it's, really yeah. it's floppy. But, um, dude, the uh, oh, James, the original on. though. He's not late. He's early. Let's get him in. <laughs> get oh, is James coming on? Yeah, yeah. I'll invite him. Tell him to record his audio. Oh yeah. Oh god. Uh. Record it's crazy how they're already starting these tropes audio. of slasher movies. Like, and I think Halloween came out the same year. There's a nerdy character. There's Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think there is a person in this movie named Tina, actually. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Tina, you fat lord. Tina, eat the... What is it? Was he trying to feed him in the Napoleon Dynamite? Ham. Eat the ham! Do you know that part eat the Napoleon food. Dynamite? I can't even fucking remember that. <laughs> yeah. Remember the fucking farmers like supposed to shoot the cow in the face and the bus like stops? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James! Oh my god. So great. Is he there? Should be. Oh, sailing on a boat. I don't think John Williams brought his A game to this movie, if I'm being honest. It probably wasn't even John Williams. <laughs> it's <was> probably <laughs> someone else that he just got in to do it. <laughs> he just kind of gave it all the once over and then just was like, yeah, signed off on it. There you go. Score <laughs> by John Williams. a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> James, can you hear us? Speak to me, child. Speak to me, child. Oh no, this is like we're all being quiet and there's like music blaring out at this point in the movie. Oh shit, uh, <laughs> James! <laughs> James, where are you? 
What are you doing? He's oh, muted he, himself. He's muted himself. <laughs> you Unmute muted? yourself, James. Sort your mic out. <laughs> looks like Matilda's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was say it looks like Nedry. <laughs> Dennis Nedry. <laughs> I can't shave fucking virus on a boat, you son of a bitch. <laughs> they do try to capture like the energy in the police station. Yeah, who who direct actually what the DVD right? Some fucking guy. Universal's B team. Do you know what's funny though? Uh it doesn't say I've got the photograph. Thing, Chief. I think so. On the back of the DVD, it says Roy Schneider, Lorraine Gray, Murray Hamilton, Jaws 2. Uh, written, oh, directed by Jeanotte Swark. Swark? Okay. Hey, this is out of, in the UK, this is the only Jaws film that isn't a 12. Oh, is it it's like a rating, a, uh, it's a PG. It's the rating below the, all the others. Oh. oh, really? Yeah. So, wait. For you guys, are are the new Jurassic World movies rated like harsher than the first three? Yes. Aren't they like PG fifteen? The, the first three are PGs, and then the new ones are twelve A's, which means okay. twelve adults. So you need to be twelve, or you know, if you're under twelve, you need an adult. So Over here in America, all the Jurassic parks are PG thirteen. Mm. Yeah, I mean, most PG films nowadays are called twelve. It's very, very rare that we actually get a PG film. It's like a very niche mm. area. I think. The last James, PG there? film that I remember coming out in recent times was <laughs> Cars, Disney's Cars. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like, can't. Uh, it seems like a, a kind of rating that just isn't really used anymore. Doesn't yeah, because they use like, it's either a yeah. U or it's a twelve in the UK. Well, they don't even make family movies anymore, really. And when they do, I don't, I don't think that. Well, they they're usually like G. Which I don't know what G is for you guys, but over just here general. it's like the lowest. We, yeah. we don't have G, but it's like a U essentially. Yours yeah. is general and ours is universal. G for fucking go away and don't watch our movie. <laughs> Look at this! Like this is the worst swing on the planet. Yeah, how is this and fun? I hope the shark's gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> they're just oh, going guys, fishing get my ass. guy. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea is like he's trying to float up, but he's like trapped in the water. But then they like oh, lift him up. He like, just gets tugged out and he just has no ass. Like it's just <laughs> <laughs> meat. He's been bitten in half. <laughs> it's like an intestine. Oh, shit, are we already at this scene? Mm, we're coming up to it. Oh, we're coming up to the greatest scene in cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, oh, you're gonna God. laugh your ass off at this. Look at how so fast ready. she's going, right? Bear in mind how fast she is going. <laughs> Dude, the shark's on like a fucking engine on its back. Yeah, it's like a rocket <laughs> propelled shark. <laughs> what is up with James? How come he can't talk? <laughs> uh, I guess his mic's out, or he's not got his mic plugged in. Oh, James, you're gonna miss this incredible I'm moment. I'm making sure I haven't muted him. No. Oh. You should be. If this were Friday the 13th movie, I'll be in trouble. I'm in. He's oh, in. he's there. I'm back. There he is. James, is there any way you can record your own audio separately so I could sync it up with everything for my video? Uh, I did send James a message when he said I'm in on WhatsApp about that. But you might I don't remember the it. grandma. Um, oh, she's the, the witness. I'm currently, oh, <laughs> I would, I'm currently editing a video myself right now. <laughs> so oh, like, okay, okay. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, I'm recording you, James, on OBS, Actually, so if this works. Oh, well, if, if you're recording his voice, it's fine. Don't worry about it, yeah, James. It should, should be fine. Yes, it is, you know. It's just on, on the OBS recording I'm doing, I'm going to come through like super loud and clear compared to the rest of you guys because it's recording my audio separate. <laughs> This I remember laughing so hard, even as like a fucking eight year old when I saw this. I was like, <laughs> "Here we go!" Actually, I may have seen this movie. Yeah, yeah here it that's is. That's a great shot, though. That is awesome. It's yeah, cool. It's Watch. That should have been the first time we saw the shark. Yeah, like that moment right there. Yeah, I think the suspense kind of dies because you already know one's at. <laughs> Look how fast that <laughs> Jesus is! Christ! <laughs> it's like it's going, fucking like, <laughs> 
It comes out of the water steaming. Like. Oh, just going for a little stroll. Oh, God, do you, remind, you know what this is reminding me of? That fucking speedboat video on YouTube where that guy really messes up. <laughs> <laughs> the way she's, like, moving the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look, this, look how fast the shark is going. Great yeah. whites can Jesus swim Christ. up to 35 miles an hour. That's Might way faster. <laughs> yeah. That's like 60. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's catching right up to her. No, <laughs> this ain't a film where the shark gets blown up by it. No, James, out. don't spoil it. Some people we'll haven't spoil seen it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on. Oh, it got her. It <laughs> got her, guys. Oh. She's Holy shit. Actually, James, you didn't spoil anything because the one that gets blown up is in the first film. And it, with, no, depending on which mean, cut you watch, the fourth one and the fourth one. Four. <laughs> this is the only one where the shark uh, meets well, the don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Oh shark. no, my daughter's been eaten by a goddamn fish. <laughs> a rocket fish. <laughs> <laughs> a rocket fish. Dude, her reaction is so fucking yeah, funny. this is great. This is amazing. <laughs> a rocket fish. I'm a rocket fish. Mm, where'd she go? <laughs> Shpack my bags. <laughs> Shpack my bags. Mm, the girl's not attached to this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I had a daughter around here somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. Getting spooky. <laughs> Fight right out of her ass. <laughs> she goes right up her ass. <laughs> Flies out of a mouth. Like, that that was a shot of the real shark terrifying. from the first film. That Imagine if that actually happened, you'd be absolutely terrified. Would you do this? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the flare, you dumb bitch! <laughs> 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 oh, my God. oh shit! <laughs> That's what should have happened on the Anchorage Ocean Moser attack. God! <laughs> I would have what? killed for that Sheriff. old lady to have this shot, a close, a, a shot slowly closing in on her face, and she just smiles and <laughs> sits back down. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, so are we watching? Explosion just... happened. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna set herself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it explodes and scars the shark's face. And she... <laughs> the shark is like the alien, like... <laughs> uh, the xenomorph in Alien versus Predator that has like the the grid on its face from the Predator. Because <laughs> <Yeah. in it. laughs> they have to. How uh, through are we in the film? Uh, we are twenty-two minutes. So we've got an hour and we've got an hour and twenty eight minutes left. <laughs> Dude, it's already five stars. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, how is it going to get much better than this? We've already had an explosion and like what five or six deaths already. Now, what is she going to explain this as? She's like, how I was just rocking in my chair, and a fucking big boom went out in the middle of the lake. I saw that <laughs> lady burn herself alive. In, yeah, that fucking idiot set herself on fire. <laughs> what was she, she really gonna do with the flare? She <laughs> aimed it at the boat. <laughs> After really, really, quite obviously, deliberately pouring petrol all over yeah, herself. Oh maybe God, maybe she, she, maybe she just really, really hates the idea of being eaten by a shark. So she's like, "I'm gonna yeah. burn. I'd rather I'll burn." Do it first. <laughs> Get fucked, Jaws too. <laughs> That's what they call the shark. They should have called yeah, the shark God. Jaws too. Yeah. <laughs> Come get me, Jaws 2. Jaws the second. I do like this detail, though. Uh, this Jaws. detail of world building that they did in this film is the Amity police have a boat now. <laughs> After the first incident, yeah, the they're first just like... One. But the uh, problem is with their boat is, look at how small it is. And you would know if Chief Brody, they went, we've got a boat for, you know, for the police. Chief Brody would look at that and be like, we need, no. a, we need a bigger boat. It I'm never getting in that boat, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> oh, oh man, I don't remember this at all. Oh, this is that crappy, like, quasi little remake of the first films that bit where it's like, oh, it's pulling us. But it's like, it, it reminds me of Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we must be caught on something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's Godzilla. <laughs> Read it in. Read it in. You know, I was rewatching. Uh, I was rewatching that movie. 
I think I told this to you, Jack, about a couple, maybe three days ago, and I got to the part where it shows up, uh, and I just stopped watching it because, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't hate the American Godzilla from, you know, back in the day, but... Were you, uh, uh, we were talking about it, and I said, I think you've, because you've been on a high of watching it recently and stuff and doing your, like, yeah. your channel, and you did that massive video with Yaroslav. It's like, you just need to take a break. Yeah, a little bit. it's like, Let where it, else do you go from that? Like, once you sell. really dig into something, I'm lucky I love Jurassic Park, otherwise I'd be screwed, but like... I remember back in 2018 when I first moved into my apartment and I was like, God, it's a good thing I didn't do a Star Wars channel. Because, like, <laughs> after The Last Jedi, I was just done. <laughs> I do love The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, but... Do I have to? Franchise fatigue is real. <laughs> yeah. Jack, you've never seen The Mandalorian, have you? Nope. You have to, cool, bro. Man. It's so good. It's uh, good. I've um, I'm, we're out of Star Wars. Yeah, Jack. Jack's not big on anything Star Wars except for the original. The original. Trilogy, well, you, you like Revenge, you like of, Revenge of, the of the Sith. Yeah, I love Revenge yeah. of the Sith. I think it's great. I love the Clone Wars cartoon, the two D one. Oh yeah, that from uh, uh, yeah, uh, that was great. I can stand yeah, Attack of the Clones. Happy memories. <laughs> and and uh, Phantom Menace. They like. I don't hate those movies by any stretch of the imagination. I can watch them. I like them. But they're not like on the level of the others, I don't think. I think Attack of the Clones peaks with the uh, the scene where Anakin's mom dies in the oh, Tuscan Raider. Yeah, that is a great scene. It's a good scene. Oh, this is great. Oh, by the way, just on a side note, based on what we're about to see in this scene coming up, there's uh -huh. a film. Uh, uh, oh God, what year was it? Have I got it here? I think I do. No, I don't know where it is. I thought I brought it down with me. Dude, I don't remember any of this shit. I just remember I floating, on, floating on a load of boats in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the main thing I remember is. Oh, I do remember it. No, this is cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I. I've, I thought I brought it down with me, but maybe I didn't. There's a film called Orca. I I've seen Orca. Oh my god, that is like of the closest. That's the closest film to Jaws one in terms of quality and uh, tone. And yeah, tone. it's it's so good. I have not seen it in years, but Orca um, was pretty good. Definitely worth it's doing weird, on this. Because like, obviously Orcas are like in the wild. There's never been a case where a human's ever been killed by one. Mm. Well, in the movie, it, uh, humans kill. What was it? The orcas. Like it was it the child orca? No, they kill. Like... They kill. They kill a pregnant orca, and when they're kind of open, the fetus falls out or something. Yeah, and then, and then the, the guy the freaks male. out and he kicks it over the ocean. But the female one they've just cut open is still alive, and they dump that in the ocean. And so this male orca, who's part of the pod, just goes on a revenge trip to try and kill it's, this it, fish. It's pretty fisherman. fucking cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Because like, or you know, orcas are actually intelligent, and mm. like, it was it was cool. It and they, was yeah, cool they really drum up the science of like how this orca is acting really intelligent and stuff, and they make you they really sell you on the idea, and it's great. Yeah, that was a good what, movie. What year was that, Jack? I think was it's that like, still but, in the seventies. Yeah, I think it was like a year after Jaws. It was like really, Damn. Oh, it was like right around the same time. I don't I don't have a way of uh, looking at it without ruining the stream. So. Is this the scene where the Ladies like sharks don't take things personal, Mr. Brody. <laughs> and then cut the jaws for. <laughs> <laughs> literal tagline of that movie is this time it's personal. Which I is guess where the, that comes from. That the <laughs> idea is that this shark wants revenge for the first shark. Or at least that's what Brody says. Well, I mean it's not surprising they killed his husband, so <laughs> <laughs> Brucetta. It's a cool idea, though, seeing a you know a killer whale dead on the beach with big chunks ripped out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. I don't know how the hell he got that far up on the beach, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. really high top. Damn well. near dunes. Presumably, the speed that they were going at. Use <laughs> <laughs> him out of the water. <laughs> 
You're right, James. That is a great effect, though, that dead killer whale. Oh, yeah, it looks good. <coughs> is Brody wearing dunes? <laughs> No, he's not. <laughs> they're, they're so big. The, the dunes are so big. They look like trousers. Flares. I'm a little bit disappointed now. <laughs> he's kind of got some bell bottom shit going on, doesn't he? Yeah. Bell bottom seventies. Brody in the water. Going <laughs> after shark, eating the killer whale. He hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Amity would... Island police badge should have been changed to like <laughs> a little like stitched version of a, like a stick man spearing a shark right in the head. <laughs> no, it's like, like, a, like a, Officer a Doofy Trident or something. <laughs> yeah, they should have really drummed up like how like he should have been really cocky. <laughs> He I should... killed a fucking shark. Yeah, What'd you yeah. do last Christmas? He needs he needs a shark tooth necklace. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he like wears he it like a headband. Trophies. He wears like, it. He wears all the shark. sharks. <laughs> killed sick. Like fucking Bayou Billy. <laughs> <laughs> he wears the shark tooth as like a headband, and it's like on his forehead, really constantly flapping around on every. <laughs> Like some <laughs> shit from, uh, what's that, uh, when dinosaurs, uh, ruled the earth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's wearing, like, like a shark leather cape. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, a fin helmet. Just no. like a crocodile dundee. <laughs> loads, loads, loads of shells all over his clothes. <laughs> He's got, like, boxing gloves of shells that he'll, like, if I meet a shark, I'll punch him. <laughs> my shell gloves oh, God. he's gonna be the one afraid to get in the water not me <laughs> this looks like where someone gets killed like green mile style <laughs> look at this room <laughs> That's the shark execution room. <laughs> <laughs> just drop people. I hope it hurts. Hope it hurts like hell. <laughs> oh. look at look at him. Like you can. Yo, oh, yeah, you can tell he's kind of like darker here. He's like he's not opening his eyes properly. Yeah, it's just a bit like. <laughs> See, this yeah, is what annoys me. He... It, yeah, this is what annoys me about this film is like he shouldn't like start discrediting Chief Brody. He should like be with him like a team, be like, yeah, okay, I what agree. Do we do? That... And then someone else who's like the new mayor because he got maybe what Brody should have done is he tells the new mayor, the new mayor doesn't believe him, or like something like gives him a like, oh yeah, we'll give, gives him some excuse to walk away. Then Brody is pissed off and he goes into a hardware store or something. He's like. You so say he's going to pick something up for his wife that asked him, and the old mayor is working behind the till or something, or he's like just there, and then he tells <laughs> him about him, and then called him begging for change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he needs to be in a position where he's like he's he's not the mayor anymore, and he's like just working, and he's now on the level of like Chief Brody, yeah. and then Chief's like, "Can you help me? Like you know people," and then he does. He's like, "Yeah, sure," and then they become like the new. He becomes part of the new the trio. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, man. Why that needs to be on the fan wiki? Because, the, because, <laughs> like in the first film, we had Chief Brody, uh, Hooper, and Hooper Quinn, and Quinn, and those character yeah. dynamics were really interesting, and it would have been great yeah. to have that with him, the mayor, and maybe another character. Maybe what they lady. needed was was saw. Quint, like just showing back up in town with like a big bite mark on his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, that shark tried to swallow me whole. I but played dead and he dropped me out of his mouth instantly. So I just yeah. swum to shore. I don't know what I do, but I first <laughs> 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 I don't know what I do, you ladies have spared. Before we receive the order. See, like, he's afraid of the water. That's great. That's good. That's great. They, that yeah. like the whole movie's not bad. I enjoy. No, Chief, his... Chief Brody's on point. Like he he yeah. acts like how you imagine him to act. He's like, damn it! I just killed a fucking great white. I'm afraid of the water. Now I gotta go into the water, probably because of another great white. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new job. <laughs> 
be fair, the PTSD with him, like, it's really believable. Yeah. He's, almost, he's too good for the film. <laughs> 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 he's like, his talents are wasted. That is the thing. He is the best thing about this film. And that's even weird to say because John Williams returns to do the score. I don't not like even, the, music. Yeah, the music. I think it's not too, even that great. It's too lively, like, uh, mm. like too happy. But do you do you see what I'm uh, what I said earlier, Clayton? When you said uh, the teenagers are in this movie, like Chief Brody is in like the first half of this movie, and then it hard cuts to like the teenagers for the rest of it. That's like, what I remember yeah, because I like wish we kept following Chief Brody. It yeah, still I, very much does feel like this is this oh, is his film. Oh. Fuck, I don't remember. That. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that oh the lady my from God. the boat? That's her. You know what? You know what? That's probably where Joe Johnston got the fucking idea in Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> that's, I bet that's where that comes from, where the body falls from the... Uh... He's had enough. He's ending it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just injects that poison into him. What is he doing with oh, cyanide? Are you sure you want this? Oh, he's doing cyanide bullets because, like, the idea is if he shoots the shark, he's dead. That is definitely how cyanide works, for sure. <laughs> but that's not just going to, like, wash out in the water or anything like that. He didn't work what he just did. He wax tip, wax tips them. Very elaborate. I don't remember that body it's in the movie at all. Elaborate. When was the last time you watched this, Clayton? I watched it with my dad in 2016 after we were on a high from seeing the first Jaws again. Because me and dad, we always loved the original Jaws, right? Mm. And I'm like, you know what, dad? Let's watch Jaws 2. Dad wanted to watch Deep Blue Sea. Wish I listened to him. But like, <laughs> we watched Jaws 2 and I was like, well, what'd you think? He's like, I told you it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, though, what's sad about it is, like, it's shot. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, they competently, tried. It's shot competently. Yeah. Like I said, the acting, despite my flaws with some of the character choices of what they do, the acting's all great. And Man, there don't need to be no damn kids. burned uh -huh. corpse jump scare. No, no, no. <laughs> like, no that's ridiculous. <laughs> I like how she was, like, in the fetal position, too. <laughs> and she was still holding on to that bit of wood. <laughs> He grabs the fucking flare still clutched in her hand and uses oh, it at the no. end of the movie. Or what if he like pulled her out of the water and she was just screaming? Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he hears her, goes, <laughs> then rolls her over and just carries on screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he takes the, like, grabs the flare from her hands, but it's a bit of a struggle because she's really gripped onto it. And then he just <laughs> shoots it in her face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got a confirmed kill over here. Looks like a probable suicide. Are they playing Pong? No, that's Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the kids are all obsessed with playing. Bro, you just made me spit up my tree. <laughs> Dad, I'm ranked pretty fucking high. <laughs> On the screen, it's just those squares going up and down. <laughs> That is though, like back in the day, that would have been the thing they're obsessed with. Dude, yeah. my mom was telling me there used to be a game show where you had to call in and someone would like make a a move on a video game on like TV. It was called oh, yeah. It was called Pow or something. I was like, that sounds fucking retarded. <laughs> we have heard of there's before. loads of shows on that over here in the UK as well. Oh, and really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably remember it as well, like. I can't imagine someone like, like on TV and they're like, "All right, Clayton, what do you want Mario to do?" I think he should jump. Oh, uh, well, jump. Clayton, <laughs> here's the thing, right? One of the going on a bit of a tangent here. This is how interesting Jaws Two is. The <laughs> there was a show in the UK on early in the really early in the morning called Big Breakfast, right? And it would okay. be this like mansion where they film live. And they have like cartoons come on, and they had these two puppets called Zig and Zag, and it was a bit more adult than like kids' shows, because okay. they'd make like, adult jokes. And stuff. <laughs> One of the things they used to do on that show is they had a, an officially licensed Jurassic Park game where <laughs> really? the T Rex was chasing the camera, and the character had to jump over logs, but they would get people to phone in and be like, "Jump, jump, duck." <laughs> 
jump, duck, and they'd like the T-Rex would be getting closer and they'd be like, how long can you last? I've never found this since. Like, I've searched for it for years and I was like, what I remember would, this because it was when Lost like? World was coming out or it was oh, just wow. after the first film. It was around between in those years somewhere. And I remember it being officially Jurassic. And I was like, was oh. it? Did it look like the... Uh... You like the Tiger Electronic? No, like, it looked sort. a little bit like the arcade game where you're in like the Jeep back of the Jeep and you're oh, shooting wow. the T Rex, but it wasn't like you were shooting it. It was someone running, and they had to like jump and duck under. Dude, find that because I, I've been no looking years. Seen... It's one of the like yeah. lost things, and I'm wondering if my memory is incorrect and it was just a standard dinosaur game, and I, as a stupid kid, thought it was Jurassic Park or something. What is that? Where it was for Jurassic Park? I don't remember. I don't remember any it being Jurassic, but I, yeah. then again, I have a very scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was one of those things where those people phone in to like do the game, and I remember it being like this quasi two D three D game. What the fuck is that? What kind of jet ski is that? They still make those. Do that's they really? I've never kite seen him. one. He's, he, that's not a jet ski. That's a kite. He's, he's in... not that. <laughs> <laughs> you see the kid go on the water on that like <laughs> really fast. <laughs> I installed this shark tower. So you yeah, they're about to lower him into the water, in it. <laughs> Why the fuck couldn't they convince Richard Dreyfus to come back? Because <clears throat> uh, he's a man of quality. He was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> yeah, because I think they this guy's the new mayor. Right? Well, then what's the old mayor's job? I don't know. Governor or something? He stands around and looks pretty. I endorse this mayor. He will not get you killed. <laughs> so that was uh, the wife of Universal's president at the time, right? What, uh, Lorraine Gray? Lorraine. Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, I did not know. I, yeah, well, she was during Jaws the Revenge, so it may have been like a different... Like, <laughs> yeah. That's why she's in that movie. She's the lead, isn't she? Yep. Remember in Jaws 4 where they're trying to explain what happened to Brody? They're like, he had a heart attack from. He had a heart. Fear. It was the, it was the fear of it that killed him. Yeah. <laughs> they could he have just said like he was. Greg. Like, he sound, they could have just said he was away on like some sort of trip. They've got like a portrait of him in the fucking house, and it's just a still shot from Jaws one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking. <laughs> It's like a screenshot from the first movie, and they're like, yeah, it's, that's our dad. They couldn't have used, like, a fucking headshot oh. of him from his, like, <laughs> resume or something. <laughs> it's so noticeable, too, because, like, I remember that scene. <laughs> that's so stupid. Is it a shot of him, like, on the boat, like, in the finale as no, well? No, to be fair, he's, like, staring at the camera, so it kind of <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Jack, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I vaguely remember. Yeah, it's just like a headshot from the production still or something like that. Yeah, because they're like going through the house and it like, it's almost like if you look in the corner, it says copyright 1975. <laughs> 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 I love how it's like he's in some kind of like unofficially erected building like that. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this? He didn't guy? even get a permit for this. He just showed up with it one day, <laughs> dropped it on the beach. <laughs> and he insists to be up there naked. And they're like, why? <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> tries to him. get to me. He just pushes him away with a broom. Like, <laughs> to fight the shark, you gotta become the shark, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> he uses the hole in the where the ladder goes up, it's like it's the toilet. <laughs> it's like they're climbing up to get. Oh, they look god. up and that. Oh my god! Get down! Get oh, down! Look out! He's emptying his bucket again. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like I'm chumming. <laughs> he's been up there for like All four weeks. <laughs> I'm chumming. <laughs> he's just throwing diarrhea all over the fucking beach. <laughs> <laughs> this will attract shark sharks love loud noise <laughs> completely lost the plot he's gone absolutely fucking Watch mental this. Up there. like he's like he's this. not he's up there like that as you see him now but he's just not wearing anything underneath <laughs> yeah that's why they had to put the corrugated metal up <laughs> yeah so you don't see his naked body <laughs> He just climbs up on the side, squats over the edge of it, and just starts <laughs> coming. 
I'm chubbing. Hmm, what could that be? Hmm, let me adjust the uh, binocular vision here. It's moving. There's people. My job. Get out of there. <laughs> oh shit! What's wrong, Brody? I told you we shouldn't have given him that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine that shot if he wasn't wearing anything. That's what I was saying. That's what they see like, <laughs> on the top. Oh, I'm here we are, Craig. Oh, got the gun <laughs> out. He's got a gun. Him. He's got a gun. 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 I was gonna say the cyanides are. S oh my god, what is this? It's a skull of blue fish. That guy looks like a roadie for Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a blue fish. <laughs> James, I got this great lyric for you. Just watch Jaws 2. It's sad but blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro, put the gun down. Like I don't. Yeah, you can't blame me. Put the dude with the pipe. Well, another day around here. You can't blame Brody for being like that, though, can you? Yeah, but he's about to shoot the kid. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was in his line of sight, and he was like, "You know what? I gotta get this shark." <laughs> I'm gonna. My plan of action is to shoot anyway. the kid and into the shark. Yeah, look, look at, look at the mayor. He's no, so... just hear me out. This may sound crazy, but if I shoot through the kid, it'll still hit the shark because the cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's like, damn, you just fucked up all our beach day. <laughs> I've just got this image of him running so fast to the water, and then he just shoots himself in the head as he's running and just <laughs> falls face first on the sand, and then the waves just gently lap the top of his head. It cuts to the opening <laughs> credits of Jaws 3. <laughs> he died of a heart attack because of the fear. No, he didn't. He shot himself in the head in front of everyone. It was a heart attack! <laughs> it's okay, Dad. I'll help you pick up the crime scene. Oh, I thought he was picking up individual grains of sand. It's like, who left all this, who left all this mess here? The kid just pricks himself on one of the empty casings and gets it. And he dies. Oh my god. It's like, Dude. you know that scene in Dr. No at the beginning where he's like, to hell with you. And he like chews on the cigarette uh, yeah. when James Bond's in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes you feel kind of bad for him, but at the same time, he's kind of like... So he got Captain of the Year or whatever that <laughs> award was. It's like they really... <laughs> Captain of the Year! <laughs> whatever that what, I didn't see the award. For slaying the shark that killed half the town, we award and Captain had a little, of the Year. They had a little shark jaw model at the bottom of the, <laughs> the award. Uh, they, made, they needed to drum up the fact that like people believe him. And they need they... like voiceover like in Blade Runner, where he's like, it's Okay, been a long here's day. my pitch for Jaws 2, right? Right. Brody is chief of police in a town that is run down. Like no one's coming to this town anymore because guess what? He was right, and no, and like no one wants to go to the beaches anymore. They're deaths. It's like the ghetto. Yeah, it's the ghetto. And <laughs> instead of the shark attacking here, it's another location, and they want his expertise. So he, he like parachutes down in. No, but he like, like he, yeah. but it, you, so the the reason the first film works for the Brody's character is he's a fish out of water, right? Pun not. No, he hates the water. Yeah, yeah. He, well, he hates the water, and he's the new p chief of, chief of police. Like people don't really know his methods that well, and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like so, the towns run down, blah blah blah. But then they say like, look, if you come and help this town, then we'll you know work out some things, and we'll get your business up and running and stuff in the town. So he gets his old friend the mayor who believes him to join him on this trip and uh yeah and then he goes on a different a so he's road, a, road yeah and he's like adventure. yeah and he's on a different he's in a different location so again he has to get used to like the townsfolk and convince them of what he's seen and what he's done <laughs> and no one there believes him because why would they like it's I... a completely different location 
No one believes him until he shoots a kid. <laughs> or they could, or, or they could um, base it off the actual shark attacks that Peter Blenchy wrote the book about, where the shark went up river, didn't it? It went like up a saltwater river um, in the middle of a town the... and killed like four or five people in a week. What was the real life thing that happened? They made a movie about that too, called like Twelve Days of Terror or something. Yeah, um, something. Like it was that. like it swam up New Jersey or yeah, something. Yeah, that's, yeah, but that's what like, I mean. They should base it around that sort of thing, like just mix it up. Well, the scary thing about that, that actually happened. It was, I think it was a bull shark that swam mm. up a channel in like mm -hmm. uh, 1912 or something. Yeah. Now, come on. This is like that movie Loch Ness where you can see like a flipper from the like picture that he took. Mm. You guys seen Loch Ness before? Why no one's yeah. edited this and put some like bull sack on it or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where it's so drawn out where he's like zooming in so slow and then it goes to Brady, then back to him. Brody, sorry, then back to him, then back to Brody again, then back to him, back to yeah. him. And then all of a Mr. sudden... Mr. Mayor, like, this is clearly a shark's eyeball. Now you need to give me more cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> now he just walks in with that killer whale and just dumps it on the <laughs> desk in front of him. Smashes down through the fucking sea. This was no boating accident. It's just annoying that no one believes him. It's like the whole first film... You guys didn't believe yeah, him and that happened. I, like, these guys should be on his side this time and that would be more interesting. Like, yeah. what, if, what if they send like an army of boats out there to kill it, like bigger than the orca? And it's like, then you make it more interesting. Like, what happens? Yeah, and then you could obfuscate it by having the shark actually be in a different location. So, like, all the town's defenses are gone. Exactly. It, like, it, that would be really cool. It goes cool. up the river, like, like the original real life yeah. story. And those kids are in those boats up there or something. They are really cruel to him here, but I guess it's because... Look at the mayor in this scene, by the way, because I think this is when the act is, like, really sad. It's annoying. Not in a you know, Listen sympathetic here, way, but it's, like, Mr. it's distracting because it's so sad. It's kind of wish, like, they didn't have him in the movie. Because yeah. it's, like, he was going through some <laughs> yeah, really hard I, shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shark. I will admit, Jaws 2 is like way better than uh, like the other two that came out. It's actually a movie. I mean, I'll like. It's actually a movie, but it's, Jaws 4 is just way more entertaining. Jaws 4 is one of the most entertaining sequels yeah, ever made. I, exactly. I will agree there. And that's what movies have got to do. They've got to entertain. Yeah, from everything I've seen so far, this does look sort of relatively competent. Yeah, it's just kind of silly. Like, Jack, do you get what I mean when I say it reminds me of Jurassic Park 3? <laughs> uh, no, because I think Jurassic no? Park 3 is... Go on the left. Entertaining. Uh, this is, this like, is a like, bit like, boring. <laughs> uh, well, okay, good point. Jurassic Park 3 is way more entertaining. By but this, that's because like, Jurassic Park 3 is this? We're crazy. 52 minutes into this movie. In Jurassic Park 3, we're already near the end of the credits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think by this point, what are they doing? They they just got out of the little boat that Eric yeah. has been, uh, or, or the little uh, what is it, water truck? Yeah, they're they're sort of about to go towards the Avery. Hi, score Buster, I'm doing great, man. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I got unlocked a new skin on Fortnite. Mm. <laughs> Guys, what's crystal meth? I just ate some. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is it. This is where we start to go into the teenage story. This is what I remember most about the movie is when they're all out on the boat, mm. the you know the sailboats and stuff. Do you want to hear a funny little anecdote? Well, it's not really that so. funny about this movie, and and when I so I didn't I saw this film once when I was very very little, and then I didn't see it for years, and then mm. for whatever reason when we first got computers in our high school, one of the first things I went to look for is a trailer for Jaws two, <laughs> and I remember I ha I downloaded it. In one lesson, in one tech lesson, we was we had this like lesson going on, and I was in the teacher was looking at it, and I had my computer screen turned off. But if they turned the screen on, it would show that it's downloading the trailer for Jaws two. <laughs> and then at the end of the lesson, I remember getting it, and we had they the school had given out these like little red uh, USB sticks to everyone, or you had to buy one okay. or something. Okay. I, was, there I like remember there was like thirty two mega thirty two megabytes and they oh, were Ross, like extortionately no, I, expensive. Ross, I can correct you on that. They were eight megabytes in size. They oh, were tiny. Gosh. 
Like the, the first ones they gave out, the very first ones, tiny in size. I think I've still got mine somewhere. But I remember quickly, before the, everyone was leaving the class, I quickly put it onto that. And then at lunch, I like went into one of the tech rooms and put it in and I watched the trailer for Jaws 2. <laughs> and it was this tiny, it must have been like 144p version Damn. of like, it was tiny. But I just remember seeing, watching it going, oh, I don't remember any of this, man. I need to see this film because I'd watched Jaws 3 and 4 and 1 mm. loads. Yeah, this that's, one, that's I, what I had done back then. Yeah, this one was more like a mystery to me. And then I remember in the trailer, like seeing that there's a bit in this film later on where the shark bursts out of the water and the animatronic shark's mouth sort of like, yes, <laughs> sort of like yes. pinces upwards and like g- goes wrong at the top. It like folds in on itself. Folds in on itself at the top on the top lip. And I remember seeing that in the trailer, and I went, "Oh my god, I need to see this film. This shark's like breaking <laughs> even in the trailer." <laughs> the, yeah. How yeah. come they always play up the fucking deputy like some Andy Griffith bullshit? No idea. Oh, my dogs are barking. They sense a shock. They sense a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Just really nice. I've got no sound coming. There's so much talking. I've got no sound of the thing coming through my TV. Oh, you have to turn it up on Discord because I've got it turned way down on my end because I'm recording and I don't want to get the music to get flagged by the algorithm, which is probably going to happen anyway. Uh, Take a shot of this here, Jack. We're going out on that boat, damn you, and we're killing that son of a bitch, and then I'm coming back and killing the mayor. <laughs> He's talking to him about where how the two sharks got married. Oh, that, see, there you go. That's the dynamic of the film they should have done. You got the three characters in the first film, but the three characters in this one that go out in the water is Chief, this deputy guy, and the old mayor. Well, you got to get the deputy to get eaten. Like, yeah, because the deputy gotta... can get eaten, but the mayor, the mayor can like turn into a badass by the end of it. And Chief Brody is like he's a fish out of water because he has to lead these two guys. He's like the new Quint. But he's not really the new Quint, and he's like a bit uh, like worried about the water still, and a bit jaded. But he's determined to go out there and face it or something. And it's like that dynamic would have been really interesting. They could have just got Hooper back. <laughs> they ever that'd have been a bit too samey. You wanna you wanna mix it up? He's like, I've got a, I've got a ship called the Orca Two. <laughs> it's called the awesome. Humpback. The Humpback. <laughs> well, it's called the sperm. <laughs> sperm. <laughs> the, the, the hump sperm. <laughs> His wife's so supportive. Like, honey, it's all right. You didn't actually shoot the kid. <laughs> you just grazed him a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry too much. You might have a heart attack. Here, keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you're running dry. <laughs> Constantly <laughs> pouring drinks in his hand. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Constantly giving. Oh, you look a little dry. Yeah. <laughs> fucking mayor comes over. He's like, I found out what's wrong with the fucking chief. He's <laughs> like wasted in his house. Like, Shark. <laughs> She just gets him really drunk and dresses up as a shark and terrorizes him. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to have to deport some citizens because this is getting crazy. <laughs> that's, why she's wearing, that's why she's wearing blue. So it's, like, it's, it's all part of the psychological warfare. She's, she starts she's wearing blue that, when he's sober. And then... She's the one that sews his fucking shark necklace. <laughs> <laughs> She goes, honey, oh. listen, let's put some music on. Let's loosen up. And she puts on, it's just... Du, 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 du. <laughs> She's doing this like erotic dance around him. Really thrusting in time with the music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, my word. Terrible. <laughs> Damn, went to bed in the uniform. Oh, that drunk. She's really <laughs> she's really doing that job. He was drinking all night. Speaking of drink, I'm going to get another one. One second. All right. 
He's like, where did dad put his gun? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this tastes like booze. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why is it I blue? <laughs> I'm going to go out there and impress them girls with dad's old revolver. Accidentally <laughs> 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 shoots one of his friends. <laughs> shoots the curly haired guy from Friday the 13th. <laughs> They have to try and blame it on the shark. It's actually <laughs> playing with dad's gun too much. The shark sure got him, dad. Jumped <laughs> right up out of the water at full speed. Pulled the trigger and everything. I think he had cyanide laced teeth. <laughs> the police find cyanide. It was the shark. Is that the same actor from the first movie? I don't think it is. No, the older one. It's like funny how much in the background has got a shark on it. It's funny how the kid characters uh, are the <coughs> are like the ones who are in every single film. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Because mm. number three is about them, isn't it? Both of them grown up working. Yeah, and then number like four, car. one of them gets eaten at the beginning, and the other one is like trying to save him or yeah. something. Isn't it the little one who gets eaten at the beginning? Yeah. yeah. He gets like his arm bit off then he's in the water and he's like, Help! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out depressing. my boat! Man. I just watched Halloween at the movie theater! Let's go act it out in the fucking water! Ha ha ha! Who does he remind me of? That guy, the main guy. Richard Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richard Simmons. And there's uh, Napoleon Dynamite at the back there. Yeah, I like your sleeves. They're real big. <laughs> I like your sleeves. <laughs> That's what he says in the movie. I love that film. You're doing it. You're becoming mighty. <laughs> he looks familiar too. Music by John Williams. It just doesn't match, in my opinion. <laughs> it's like really exciting music. And it's like, they're going out. Let's all sail, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. my god, we're on the Look water. Look at these tricks. <laughs> Whoa, better call BMX. <laughs> Let them know what's up. <laughs> What they should have done is like a Mad Max style thing, and each boat is like <laughs> made, made up, like completely <laughs> different. He sprays that shit all over his face. Witness me! <laughs> Dives headfirst into the shark's mouth. It blows up. All the boats have just got chainsaws in the water. Like, the... <laughs> Barbed wire everywhere. Those would be good movies to do commentaries on the Mad Max series. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see the black and white version of Fury Road. Oh yeah, that I I've never seen that before. I was really curious, and I I haven't watched it, but like in in the actual normal cut, the cut of the one that's you know in color, there's a bit during that massive like hurricane sandstorm scene, sandstorm scene where like for a brief moment the film turns black and white. Oh, for like a brief second, it's like whenever the lightning flashes or something, the whole film turns black and white. And I'm wondering if he's done the opposite for the black and white version. Oh, that'd be awesome. Mm. <laughs> so if I like, breathe is it, in one scene. Is it actually a different cut of the film? I don't it think it's a different cut. I think no. it's just it's called the Quite. black and chrome version or something. Yeah. Yeah. Now what are, what are these guys doing? Swimming. That's it? They're just going for a swim. <laughs> We're just trying are to rank up. Me the... people in the future swim for fun. <laughs> <laughs> what are these some kind of fish people? <laughs> This looks like the end of Thunderball. All they need is like <laughs> those harpoons. <laughs> They're shooting. I've got you, Mr. Bond. <laughs> see one in the tux. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear guitar music. It just reminds me, a film I watched the other day, which I enjoyed from start to finish, was Executive Decision. I haven't seen that in years. Kurt Russell... Ooh, okay. uh, Steven Seagal. What? <laughs> BD Wong. What? 
it? The guy from Terminator 2 who works at um, the Cyberdyne systems, the guy who dies. The black, like, <gasps> the black dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the actor's name. Uh, Halle Berry. What is this, like an Expendables of B-list actors? Oh, dude, it's <laughs> great. It's from like 1995, and it's about these terrorists taking over this jumbo jet. And they put, they've got, they've secretly got on the plane, like, a load of chemical weapons. And they're turning the plane into a giant missile and they're aiming it towards Washington. And Kurt Russell is this, like, government advisor on, like, this sort of, these sort of matters. And Steven Seagal's, like, this leader of this, like, elite team. And he brings <laughs> Kurt Russell along. Oh, it's also got, um, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, fuck. I'll remember his name in a minute. Um, from Lake Placid, the, the, Guy, he's also in like 2012. Oh, and the uh, yeah, I know. Beverage oh, Ross. there's a shark, yeah. guys! Oh god, oh. <gasps> he's it's got two the star. <laughs> yeah. It's two face. <laughs> it's two face. <laughs> Flips a coin for each of the divers. But anyway, yeah, oh, they, they like get in this like stealth jet, and it's like this. They have to like connect with the plane without them knowing, and then they get in, and then they're like have to infiltrate the plane and stop the ter- it's great it's really oh, good that bit with the the stealth plane like docking with the the yeah uh, they have to like, plane. dock Did... with it without the plane knowing they have to get the speed right and everything it's so good what the I fuck think, happened yeah to him? i think i might have seen that yeah it's on netflix they they're like some the stupid UK. bit where when the plane like does the plane explode and they're all like on parachutes or something like jumping out of the plane or am i thinking of something else uh are you thinking of air force one you're, yeah, I think you're yeah, thinking of Air Force One. It's very similar in style yeah. to that, but I think it's better. Get this, off this, that my whole, plane. That whole bit with like the planes connecting to each other. Does that happen <gasps> in Air Force One? Am the I, shark's I going after remember. the kids. Can't remember. Um, oh, God, what's his name? That actor. I know it's completely off. Are you talking about um, the sheriff? In, no, uh, no, the, the scientist, cocky scientist. The paleontologist? Yeah, he comes in. Yeah, the, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Oh, I had his pictures, uh, my friend Beverage his face on the phone because he looks exactly like him <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's gonna kill me now what is this movie called uh e executive decision highly recommend what like decision like, and... bd Wong plays like this hard-ass mercenary in it and he's great steven seagal returns an executive decision i've got to have a look at this quickly Hmm. 1996. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's <coughs> really good. I feel like I would have seen it if it was good. So I don't know if I believe you entirely, Jack, because just watch it clean. It's good. Is, you said it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix in the UK. I don't know if it's on the US Netflix. I'll so I'll might, find a way to watch it. But like, oh, his name's like Oliver something. Oliver. Oliver Stone. <laughs> Oliver Platt. <laughs> Oliver Platt. That's it. Yeah, that's his name. L what the plan. fuck happened to the diaper? Did he get, like, bit on the leg or something? But he had blood coming from his mouth. Uh, I think he just got knocked by the shark or something. Oh, this <laughs> shark. Oh, I forgot. This is the scene where you can see the boom mic. Like. Where? Oh, I think we might have missed it. Oh, shall I just <laughs> tweak it back a little bit? Yeah, back it up. I want to see oh, a mistake. Up. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the... I don't know if this is a cropped version, but on the no on my DVD. Look at the top of the screen, the very top. I'm looking. There, 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 there it is, there it is. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Always remember that from the deep when I first watched it on DVD. I was like, oh I've my god, the bloody before. boom mic's right in the film. No way. <laughs> There's like a guy like five feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I remember correctly as well, it might come back into it. Like they stand up or something and it's like there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I know you're going through a hard time, but you got to get these freaks out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> They're recording That's all everything part of we're saying. Plan to make him think he's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Truman Show, only right in his face. <laughs> She's already his coffee that he's drinking there is already fifty fifty whiskey. <laughs> oh man, you guys are making me like think up of like a much better movie than this for Jaws too. Everything I said about like the plot of Jaws two, but it's a documentary film crew from their perspective. They're making like Gina a Brody, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Here's the boom mic again. You can see the shadows on the. Oh wall my god! Of the guys. You can see the shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then wow, there he goes. Stands up. There it is. It's just at the top of the screen again. That's too clear. You can see the guys like moving around and yeah. shit. <laughs> scratching his ass. 
man. That's a big ass truck. He's Damn, a... he's got a drinking problem. <laughs> Crash through the fence. It's all right, I'm the sheriff. I can do whatever I want, baby. Get in the passenger seat. Pretty <laughs> idiot for you to come out and say it wasn't me. <laughs> he's like, I don't remember there. drinking these. She goes, Oh, look, one of them's half empty as well. It just carries it, finishes it off. <laughs> I make the rules around here. Oh, here we go. This is where she. Something happens, doesn't she? And she just becomes this like freak show of yeah. She has like a traumatized situation. So Ross, what do you think about the excellent sequel to Jaws so far? It's not the worst sequel in the world of mm. films. What about you, Joey? It's honestly not bad. Mm. James, have you seen this before? Jaws two, yeah. Like I mean, recently. I know you've seen it before. No, I've not watched no. it. For probably about. I thought it was gonna be way worse, just based on how you were talking about it. But I like, just honestly like I remember most of what we're about to see, apart from the hilarious death on the uh, the, the gasoline explosion. Yeah, I mean, was... other than that lady burning herself alive <laughs> for no reason, like, it's like she just sees a shark and tries to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> the worst way possible. <laughs> gasoline and a flare gun. Oh, what if her daughter man. survived and just like made it to shore and was like, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think there's a porpoise. <sighs> I totally bought that screen. Mm. How's it taking that boat? It, oh. <laughs> it got I guess, is it like hooked on? It's it's this bitch stole my boat. Found the <laughs> His fin is actually going through the bottom of the boat. <laughs> Isn't she like? I remember her just sort. Of, I think this is the girl that freezes. Yes. And she just sort of gets found like underneath that thing, like just like shivering. Yeah, you know, I wish that was what Eric Kirby was like in Jurassic Park Three, where he's like traumatized of he the is dinosaur. So not traumatized whatsoever in that movie. Yeah, because in Jurassic Park Three, he's like, "Yeah, I'm just eating crunch bars and playing with dinosaur piss." <laughs> <laughs> it's like how long? And then the only bit we get about it is like, "How long have you been on this island?" He's like, "I can't believe you've been on this island for eight weeks." He's like, "Eight weeks? Is that all it's been?" <laughs> it's like, yeah. And that's it. That's, that's the rest of it. If he was like scared, like uh, Newt and aliens, it would be way more. Like, uh, believable. Yeah. That's a shame, I think Trevor Morgan could have done it. Yeah, he's a great actor. There we go. Damn, that's a fast shark. Oh, it got me! <laughs> oh, it let go. Oh! It I'll tell you now, from. guys, if you ever are uh, with me and I get eaten by a shark like this, I will scream as loud <laughs> as I can. <laughs> and as oh most my. horrendous <laughs> way possible. <laughs> I wouldn't be like him. Going, it, I was it, kind it. it gave him a lift all the way back to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the Slammed his thrusted. face into the side of it. Look at that blood. He just dumped some Kool-Aid. <laughs> Spill his drink under the water. Dude, he's yeah. going like a fucking million miles an hour towards you'd the be, You'd even hear me screaming under the water. I'd be like, just as loud as I can. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> screaming like Nash in Jurassic Park yeah. 3 when he's getting yanked out of the plane he's like <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be doing it just because I know I'm going to die so I might as well just make it the most horrendous oh, God, ever God, 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 God. <laughs> he's just driving <laughs> through crowds of people he's, dri like, <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely plastered right I now too He's driving the ambulance. <laughs> He's that blue truck. Somebody get out of fucking way! I'm drunk. <laughs> He's that drunk. He just gets out and starts running, and she's like, "Hey, come back!" <laughs> Can't wait. He runs that kid over. You almost hit that guy on the fucking scooter a couple of times. You know, there's the twister truck in the background. <laughs> you just start hearing Van Halen. <laughs> Just kick the door open, vomits, and then just carries on walking. <laughs> shine on, shine, shine on. on. Oh, I found a severed head, Chief. Just panic. Don't worry, we're taking good care of it. Come on, Dave. 
We're taking good care of the head. <laughs> that was not convincing. <laughs> We're taking Don't good care. We're taking care good care of you. <laughs> Kermit the Frog is the EMT. He bent down so fucking hard he broke his respirator. <laughs> What kind of I'm Don Knotts deputy are you, buddy? Yeah, you didn't even listen he to the kid first. Happy hours open. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, Happy, hours open. Happy hours open, but on like a completely different like island or something. I always get in the boat. He's like, I'm getting it over there. There's beer o'clock somewhere. Live Moss. Come on, honey, we can make it. We just gotta speed. <laughs> we'll just attach to the shark and it'll pull us. <laughs> Where's my lasso? <laughs> Chief, will you find some longer shorts? You keep poking out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it just slapped me in the face. <laughs> Someone get my dude. Right there, he's like, it's right on his cheek. <laughs> When was the last time you showered? Oh, Jesus! Guys, look at that action shot of that rope snapping as they pulled away. That was so <laughs> Hell intense. yeah, brother. Jaws too. He's drunk now on a boat. He's slammed <laughs> into that one sink. He's passed out. Oh, That's shit. This movie's going. crazy. I never thought all. about it like that seriously, but... The plot is all over the place. It's like a rehash, but it's like a schlocky rehash you know what yeah, i mean it's it's like you're watching like a friday the 13th but with less gore and really boring more sharks yeah more sharks, more sharks. definitely 100 percent more sharks <laughs> two-faced the shark i have a feeling they got roy schneider back for this film because he was like look I'll, I'll do jaws 2 as long as you get my sexy shaven legs in the <laughs> and then he's like yeah because it, it's short comments about... on his legs because those things were spotless <laughs> yeah, and he's, like, he's like the trousers look like he's just cut, cut them short with scissors. So it looks like yeah, halfway through the shoot, he got bored of those. That. He got bored of those trousers we were pointing out earlier, and he was just like, <laughs> and he's like, "Right, let's there you turn go. this up to 11. <laughs> My contract's complete. <laughs> that's why he's not in the. Today. That's why he drops out of the film from here on. <laughs> <laughs> And they found that every single pair of costume uh, uh, in the costume about all of his trousers are all been cut. Like in, in, whenever you look at a different scene, they're all like different lengths and uneven and stuff. Like. They literally oh, have no budget like to just... buy anymore. <laughs> I bet that would be fun though to go out there and do tricks and shit with those sailboats, but those things seems... are sketchy. Well, like they don't sell the <sighs> so. They all live on this island, right? This has to be like a common pastime, but they, mm. you know, that they, they're just like our Mike in the water. We live on an island. The delay. Like, <laughs> uh oh, looks like we got another victim, eh, Chief? <laughs> Let's send them to Davy Jones's locker. It's just a tiny boat. It's like the Amity Police. I'll finish him off. <laughs> Put her out of her misery. <laughs> That damn shark. He's <laughs> done it again. <laughs> Look, we need one more fatality for the tax money to come in. If the shark doesn't do oh, it, man. my gun will. <laughs> <laughs> he well, looked at make... over and he's just, he's just engraved jaws down the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that insurance payout's going to be great, honey. We can buy so much liquor. <laughs> That's gonna be fucking... And I'm parched. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just sees this girl. He pushes her out of the way and then pulls this crate of beer out from behind her. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I found it, honey." And then she just gets back in the boat and leaves. I always just think these are stranded. I, I got the booze, is... honey. This is the worst bit of the film for me when she goes. Shark! <laughs> Awful acting. Oh, honey, honey, it's too over the Honey top. hasn't been drinking that no. much. Don't be scared. Pretty late. <laughs> Deputy's so hey, out of his league. He's like, I got a blanket. Okay, <laughs> no, that's reminded me of Man Ray from SpongeBob. Mama, 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 mama. Call the mayor. 
Told him I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> he looks over there and we don't see anything it looks like water in the background like here and then there's this like extensive scene Stock of him going out there some local and then fishing he, channel. he just finds half a <laughs> bottle of wine floating in the water he spotted it from like ages <laughs> away <laughs> it's vintage honey I can smell it <laughs> <laughs> bloody subplot he goes get some fucking axe or something <laughs> <laughs> But he did he leave them. them. <laughs> Why, bro? Deputy, do you know how to do you know how to steer a boat? <laughs> it just goes around in circles. <laughs> For ages. Like, suddenly he just twists it. He's like, I'm trying. I don't know what's stuck. Something's happened. I guess I guess there is a little bit of Mad Max in their boats, because he's got a little like inflatable one. And they've got these cool ones. They've all got like little personalized boats. <laughs> if the fucking shark shows up, they all pull out like. Blow the patch. Oh yep. Ha ha, nerd. <laughs> ah, you could die. <laughs> uh oh, here come Jaws. Oh, dang. Wait, was that guy who just got knocked into the water? Is he like meant to be like a nod to Spielberg? Because like his. He did kind of look like him, didn't he? Back when the yeah Spielberg from filming Jaws era as well. They're really gonna kill this guy? Oh. No, we're, Shelly com from we're coming right up to the, the, the lip bit, I think. Oh yeah, the, the stupid... The stupid watch this, the effects lip. right here are horrible. The shark's mouth like folds in on itself. I think, I, I don't know if it's this bit, it's when it goes... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's the bit where I they're forgot like... forgot my Dramamine! <laughs> It's the bit where they're like pulling someone up into the boat and it just misses them. And it goes yeah. Past. You'll, you'll see it when it happens. It's, ah! It happens you got my pull all wet! <laughs> Why the hmm? hell just destroyed all of these boats and hasn't even touched them? <laughs> I think there's a shark out there. Huh? Why don't you just be like, guys, just stay still? <laughs> and your boat, you're fine. <laughs> Like just stay get out of here, man! Get the fuck yeah. out of here! Oh my god! I don't know how they speed going. up so fast on those boats. Like they I went from know. a dead stop to that. <laughs> the shark's so fast, it's like putting channels all around. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the water around here is just different. <laughs> it's like really thin. <laughs> yeah, we got thin water. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't they moving. They, they, it's they not water. Stopped. It's fucking. They Alcohol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just straight vodka, that's it. <laughs> no, they they Look weren't out, moving, the, the water is moving. They've just stopped. The water's just shifting really fast. Uh-oh. I think this is the bit. I yeah, think, it's right the, here, I the think. Lip. Oh my god, he's sleeping! <laughs> Wake up, damn it! I think he's Bored drunk like movie. his dad! Yeah, this is it, ready for the, ready for the pinch lip. Yeah, watch the mouth right here. Get him up! Yeah, I think this is the figure right, Clayton. There, I think he does. It's got like <laughs> look, he's dropping it into the water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a well done like he's shot. He's making a foam latex. <laughs> it's almost like he's trying to make like a woo noise. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, he's trying to whistle. That's what he's trying to do. If if that lip thing didn't happen, that was actually a really good shot. Well timed, well executed yeah. shot. But almost killed the actor. They just totally fucked up. Damn guys! Quick, let's nick his shoes. <laughs> 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 just start taking his clothes off and just dump his body in the water. <laughs> Take his wallet and shit. <laughs> so I never really liked him anyway. <laughs> he is the chief son. Like he's just unraveling some rope to strangle him with. <laughs> <laughs> they watch him. They're all watching from the other boats. And they're like, oh, oh. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the shark is just a figment of everyone's collective imagination as an excuse for all the So they were really all out there to do acid. And they all thought they saw a fucking shark <laughs> killing each other. <laughs> It'd be amazing if they all had gas cans and flares. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Oh, yeah, Clayton, you're right. I can see the girl who's in that picture that I was posting before we started recording. Mm-hmm. That one from that promo for Jaws 2 that I 
saw in a magazine and I was like, what is this movie? Which Jaws film is this from? It's it's the excellent sequel, Jaws 2. Bride of Jaws. Bride of Son of Jaws. <laughs> two Jaws. Two two Jaws, two Furious. Two Vengeance. <laughs> Jaws J- Judgment Day. <laughs> Yeah, see, if I was the police, of, the police, I'd ask for a bigger boat after seeing one jump on. The I know, boat. right? It just they give me a like sh- a, shitty boat. I'm not saying he needs something like a freaking aircraft carrier, but like he, <laughs> <laughs> he needs something a bit like a bit more substantial, a bit like Hooper's boat. You know, Hooper's boat in the first film when he's like, "You pay for all this, you're rich or whatever." That boat they're on. Yep, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like the that first bit. Jaws is so good. It's like mm. night and day. This one's just boring. That's my biggest. It is boring. Boring isn't it? and the, uh, the the what is it? The, the character choices for like the mayor and the townsfolk not believing him. That they're the biggest flaws, I think. Well, no, I also feel like the whole sailboat thing is just lame. stupid. But yeah, that's lame. to me that ties into the boringness because it's like it's yeah. too it's too obvious. It's too like crappy. Well, it's funny. This movie was like before all the Friday the Thirteenth sequels and you know Halloween sequels and stuff. So it's mm. it's interesting that like this is one of the movies that kicked off that trend of like teenagers just getting picked off one by one. And yeah, this would have because it was 1978. This came out and then yeah, it was bo- the same Halloween. year as Halloween. Yeah, same year yeah. as Halloween. So yeah, I wonder if it hadn't have been so like so shit if it would have changed the course of history with regards to what is to be expected of a sequel. Could have. Yeah, I, this is probably one of the earliest examples of like an, a follow-up having like number two in the title. Mm. I think that yeah. when, when was The Godfather? Like, Because even then, that was The Godfather Part 2. Yeah, what was the first film with number two in the title? It's pro- either Rocky 2 or this one. When did Rocky 2 come out? I'm thinking of 1947. all like 1947. Because <laughs> they didn't name like you know, Son of Kong came out the same exact year as the yeah. original King Kong in 1933. So we're going way right. back here, but they didn't call it King Kong Two. They just called it Son of Kong. Yeah, probably Jaws Two is and, all, yeah, like, and all, all those old. Look at this guy. God, got an Amish, Amish pilot. helicopter pilot. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's just. That's what the police boat should have looked like. That barge. That like, he's like water he, world bar- oh, no, it's not and he's barge. He's going to Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> that helicopter, if you look, is actually just all made of wood. <laughs> Powered by a he's horse. He's peddling it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you, know, his, you know the Amish get like their one cake. week where oh, they're like in civilization. <laughs> he became a fucking registered pilot. <laughs> this yeah. is Commander Jebediah. <laughs> 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 Come on, we better get these kids and raise that barn by five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, calm down. This is one of the most calm famous scenes game. in the movie. They're already excited because they've never seen an Amish pilot before. <laughs> <laughs> he just crashes. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I can do. Because <laughs> no, his helicopter's made of wood, he lands on the water and it starts to like soak it, uh, soak up the water. And it <laughs> and starts to, like even oh, no, it's waterlogged. Just breaks apart. In, um, what's the crocodile film called? Blake Placid, like this. Yeah, yeah Lake Placid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey guys. A hole out there! Cool thing I got. Yelling into a, like a toilet roll tube. <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you seen the village? What's a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good movie to watch. The village. Mm. Good job, man! You threw that roof so fucking good, man. You're awesome, bro. <laughs> you saved us, dude. He's gonna like fly us all the way back, bro. You're so fucking cool. Gets it caught all right, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to yank all you fuckers back home. Ties it to the rotor blades and turns it on. And just pulls the <laughs> Instant human smoothie. Watch this, guys. This is like... You can no tell idea. one of us would have written something like this. <laughs> and then when the Amish pilot's about to take off... <laughs> 
got number three. He's got Dale Earnhardt's number on the side of that chopper. <laughs> praise, hail, praise, Dale. Yeah, raise, hail, praise, Dale. Oh, uh, Dale, look out! Music. Oh, what the hell? Ain't it's never seen one of these. It's not anymore. Oh, you yeah, know it is. Now, that would be scary. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> <laughs> Dire situation. <laughs> Perfectly cuts up the sailboats like sails. What's a shit helicopter, though, really? <laughs> yeah, like Yo, bro, you suck. You're the one that threw him that rope. Now we're never getting home. <laughs> <laughs> we're dead, and it's all your fault. Oh, my God. He's coming back for He's... more. He's still hungry. I always wondered if that guy survived because he's like trapped in the bubble. Because <laughs> like, the, yeah. would the shark have to like, a, like, did he drown or what? I guess he just drowned. <laughs> he's probably. They should bring well, him the, back. Well, for, like the Jaws Amish, five. The Amish don't really live yeah. near the ocean, do they? As far as I'm, I no. can tell, they live really inland, so they wouldn't. Dude, he's probably, he's probably so surprised when the shark is right. He's like, "What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's a big ass bass." <laughs> <laughs> Big ass bass. Uh, Y'all sinners been creating great fucking creatures and shit out here. Oh god. No oh, no. Not him. Not the other one kid. Job. I think uh, it looks like he's swimming away. Yeah. I, I gotta get film. the fuck away from these people. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so stupid. <laughs> it's funny because the shark doesn't eat him. <laughs> just our only chance of getting him killed. I gotta leave. <laughs> the shark doesn't eat him. He just they watch him swim away. Like he's just, he's, him. he's just going. The shark's here. It's leaving him. Alone. Oh no! He's there and he's gonna oh. eat her. <laughs> no. I like how the shark stops. It doesn't like grab her and go. It just stops and like. Arr, arr, arr. She just goes, shush, shush, shark! And again. Uh, the thing is, yeah, the other problem I have with this film is, like, the shark... I don't think it doesn't back. act anything like it, like a shark would. No. In the first film, it obviously doesn't act like a shark would, but they, it's a bit more ambiguous. They explain it, though, because it's like hunting around that territory and stuff. So. But it becomes obsessed with the boat that they're all on at the end that whole oh yeah it takes it yeah 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 it could just leave and go do whatever but it oh, sticks man. around but in this one it's uh. like the sharks we saw it that was with all those scuba divers and then it specifically came out of the water looked at those boats and then went i'm going after them now and then i think just... the problem with jaws too is that like there was no real thought put into why like yeah. this whole situation starts That's why it would first... have been interesting sending brody somewhere else like mm -hmm. It's just a different well, shark. You, and and you maybe not of, even one shark. You do it like aliens. Maybe it's a, like like more a than school one, yeah. of like tiger sharks. Or like, Makos or something. Yeah, yeah like, like we've got like a load of them, like 12 sharks, and we can't get rid of them. I didn't... You look at other movies, like uh, as much as people complain about sequels like The Lost World, Jurassic Park, or, uh, you know, Alien 3, or, you know, whatever. Like in those movies, they think up ideas of like what happens next in the lives of these characters and like, you know, the the world building in this one, it's just like, oh, by the way, another shark showed up. Mm. You know, like... I mean, had a bit of world doing building exactly whereas... the same stuff. Everyone's yeah. doing... Everyone's acting exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, they Nobody have a little... The, the most world building we have in this is the police now have a boat, a tiny one. <laughs> a really and shit... And they have that shark thing, thing, that like shark watching tower. The shark tower. <laughs> yeah. Aside from those two <laughs> things, there's nothing different between the town from the first one and the town in this well, one. Well, somehow <laughs> the chief got a hold of cyanide. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the chief's different. They've given the police you. chemical weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I've all thought, I, I want chemical weapons to kill. If any other sharks come, I want to kill them. That. Okay, chief, we'll sign off anything. Nothing is off the table. Yeah. He probably ordered for like one cyanide tooth for himself, and they like accidentally <laughs> gave him legitimate shit. He's like, damn, <laughs> I was just trying to kill myself here. <laughs> He's just flicking through a book of thousand and one uses for cyanide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shark killing. I'll be back in Let a second. Let me see if I'm just going to mute one second. Oh no, not more rope throwing. 
I know, right? So <laughs> Kid ties time. a perfect knot. He's like, all right, you dumb sons of bitches. Please don't get me killed. <laughs> he just pulls them into the water. <laughs> <laughs> It, it totally looked like he was trying to swim away when he fell out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was trying to get as far away from them as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck here at Island of the fucking Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> they want to start a new society out oh here my in the god, ocean. Oh god, did they knock another guy in the water? <laughs> oh that shit, kid, man. He's just like a, <laughs> he just brings bad luck. <laughs> Alright, throw the kid back. <laughs> That kid, he's the spawn of Satan. Did he just kiss him? Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, dear. <laughs> what kind of movie is this? Yeah, take a, take a bit of a bit of a turn. <laughs> the shark's not the only predator out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry, we're almost at Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude's sideburn. <laughs> I swear they like model him on Spielberg. Hey man, you're not in my band anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking him out of Nantucket. <laughs> Mantucket. Heartbreaker, you mean misery maker. <laughs> Perhaps we can communicate with the shark through song. <laughs> through song? <laughs> he starts playing his guitar. <laughs> you can go your own way. <laughs> he calls this acoustic guitar and he's like, Deepest, bluest, my head is like a shark's fin. <laughs> From Deep Blue says, bluest, My head is like a shark's fin. Deepest, bluest, my head is like a shark's fin. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know, dude. He pulls out his fucking flare guns like, you ate my bird. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be more interesting if like a school of orcas turned up to kill the shark in this. Oh yeah, for like revenge. Yeah, that would have been great. Yeah, that would have been cool. Chief Brody calls him on like a shell. He pulls a shell. <laughs> <laughs> Twas beauty killed the beast. <laughs> oh, found another boat. Give me hey. only a liquor. <laughs> Steals it and drives off. Ching, ching. A gun point. <laughs> Chief, your son's I know you got it shot. in there. Come on, all you gotta do is show me where. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> where are you hiding it? <laughs> Give him a dirty, hairy speech or something. Gun point. Now I know what you're thinking. Show Did he take six shots or only five? <laughs> <laughs> As he's staggering around on the boat. He's like oh, drunk as shit. Oh. He's facing the other way from them. Facing <laughs> 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 the wrong way. He's like, Chief, we're, we're over here. And then he spins around and fires the gun really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were the shark. <laughs> I see that bastard everywhere. <laughs> He's saying that and they're just dead. In the <laughs> sorry, I thought you were the shark. Show yourself. <laughs> Dude, there's no way I'd be paddling in that fucking water. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, they just realized they were paddling and... Oh okay. shit, that's right, there's a shark in here, it ate a couple of us guys, I think we shouldn't paddle anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. We should move our hands. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you think the chief sons would have been, like, shark Is researching he... after the first film, they'd have been obsessed. Is the other one awake yet? Is he still knocked out? He's with the chief. Oh, did the chief already bring him back? 
Yeah, I they wasn't met paying up him. Yeah, that's when we came up with this whole story of him like being drunk. Oh yeah. Shut up or I'll throw you in, bitch. <laughs> said, Shut your mouth. What if he just decked him in the face? <laughs> Shut up! Whoa! Shut up! That Shut guy in Reddy just yelled, Shut up! I never even seen him before. When did he come into the movie? <laughs> <laughs> they just hired like one extra. <laughs> they were like, I, Honestly, that's not even a joke. That guy in the red shirt in the background, I've never seen him before. And Shut I, up! I've seen this film a number of times. <laughs> it's just in it. Shark yeah. wants us to fight. It wants us to fight. <laughs> This is what the shark wants us to <laughs> This is how he does it. He tears us apart. It's, it's my papa. <laughs> the shark's driving the boat towards him. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, oh my god! <laughs> the shark's just like... <laughs> oh, that's right. He's like running the hell out of the boat. <laughs> He's like, I'm on empty fumes, kids. <laughs> what is this like power station Alcatraz. island in the middle of nowhere? What's it powering? Why is it out here? It's geothermal. It dashes his liquor. <laughs> it's like That's a Jack Sparrow island. That's why he's smiling when he looks at the island. <laughs> he just drives. He just he goes goes straight past. past it's like bike. midway with the fucking Tortuga. <laughs> he's got like all this fucking liquor. <laughs> he just doesn't stop. He just keeps going. He Drink up, man. He's yo ho. <laughs> <laughs> he shoots all of them. You've seen my island. <laughs> now you must die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the room. <laughs> I love that he literally oh, calls the into <laughs> He said, oh shit. <laughs> is You're on your own, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the booze. <laughs> like, Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chief, come on. What a dumbass. Oh, really? <laughs> Some help you are, Chief. I'd be so embarrassed of my dad. Way to go, dad. <laughs> what an idiot. He's, he's in his looking, pants. Oh. He's, in his, he's in his boxers now. <laughs> Does anyone have any beer? <laughs> oh, vomit and his shirt. <laughs> he throws up all over the Res fucking boat. Rescue raft that's just loads and loads of whiskey. <laughs> 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 just drinking himself. There's a lot of middle. rope throwing in this movie. <laughs> Bro, how do they have so much rope? <laughs> now, what how, do they, to make how do they throw it that good? Do you know how far away they were in that yeah. previous shot? And then he just threw it and it like landed perfectly. They were like a hundred yards away. And then he was what just like, here you go. To make a noose? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, a knot. Look, look at how far away they are. How did he throw that rope over there? He's so drunk. He's got like this fucking... Super he has super strength. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to drink this fucking gasoline. <laughs> yeah, he has to make the really intense uh, uh, decision whether or not he's going to start siphoning petrol from that engine. <laughs> whether he's actually going to use it. Kids, if you want to live, you better hurry up. <laughs> I don't yeah, like the fact risky. that right here they try to explain... Um, like, this this was brought in way too late in the movie. This should have been foreshadowed way earlier. But uh, the way they kill the shark, but like... What you mean the, this this wire thing? Yeah, they do they do show it early on in the film. Do they? Yeah, so it's within in the like scene, the first ten fifteen minutes. Yeah, when the when the uh, they do that, you know, in the first jaws where the the shark is dragging the boat backwards Shut on that line. You know that, that when Shut that happens. The fuck up! <laughs> Clayton, do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're all in. Look, <laughs> they just jumped oh in the water willingly. Oh my god, I got the hot rod boat. Run! <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, the, on the Amity little, this little boat the chief's on, there's uh, mm -hmm. his deputy and some guy, they're like, boats getting dragged backwards, and you think it's Is the that shark, what that was? And then they pull it up, and it's the, yeah, it's the, one of the cables. Okay. Oh, here we all go. Right. It's the power line for the island. <laughs> it's the bit, it's the bit from that. Yeah, that's from the still image, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I got me! But, yeah, that nah. must have been a picture from when they were shooting. There's probably a deleted scene or something, man. A different shot, wouldn't it be, yeah. Wouldn't it be great if What is this like... shot on his ass? Yeah. 
<laughs> you see he's really clenched and he like bit his shorts with his ass. <laughs> yeah, that was in the diary and all in his pants. <laughs> the sound of like tearing material is his ass. <laughs> all in. Just see a huge wet patch at the back. <laughs> He's dense. Why is he lunging so much? <laughs> but there, like, there's a it's huge the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rewind that. <laughs> it's that shot where is it ready? Ready goes. Look at that. He's like. Eh. <laughs> 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 anyway. Oh my god. I think Guys. it'd be funny if, if they called his like if on the boat it was like a really like crap handwritten name of like. <laughs> something like HMS Righteous Vengeance or something. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy little boat. Spirit of Vengeance, Amity Police. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at this. <laughs> Come and get me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Imagine doing that without his shorts on as well. <laughs> that Beatles haircut. <laughs> oh, man. Ah! That. <laughs> Put your shorts off. Your shorts are coming off. Again. Guys, like, bro, that's the sheriff. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this shark's going mock too. Look at this girl screaming. I, She's just going to yeah, <laughs> cut the boat in two. No! Did he just yell, "Shark! <laughs> shark! Yeah, here we no go. Shit. Look at her. Like that act is just so bad. Oh, man. They're like they. The director went like, "You need to look as, as scared as possible <laughs> at this thing." And it's like, no, you don't. You can look. Is he, was he just? Was he just trying to cut that cable with a fucking? No, paddle? He's, he's trying he's to like trying get to make some noise. <laughs> no, okay. So he can do it. Paddle. He's trying to cut it with the flat trying. side of a paddle. Like, he's that down. wasted. <laughs> he's so drunk. <laughs> Christ. This knife fucking oh. sucks. <laughs> what the hell kind of machete is this? <laughs> this shit is so dull. <laughs> right? Oh my god. You kids are trying to kill each other with these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been so good at the chief right now. I'll just start again. Farewell, little do to your family. Good bits didn't used to be in the old land I ride. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. That guy bugs me. Like the fucking curly head guy, dude. Curly head. Like hide from that '70s show. <laughs> <laughs> what if it just came up behind you, Chief? Like, what are yeah, you gonna do then? Bit him right on his ass. That would have been a great twist. Looks like he's thinking it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, get the paddle. Get the machete. <laughs> yeah, it's like cutting. <laughs> Cuts and he's slapping himself in the ass with it, but the sound <laughs> the sound has not changed. It's just going, whoosh, whoosh. like there's no way a shark would bite through that fucking metal. No, bone. it wouldn't have in real life. Teeth would just snap. Have you seen the shark? Did he call it a <laughs> sausage? <laughs> he's lining up perfectly. That's it. Come and get me. I'm getting sober. The shark's, the shark's coming from the opposite oh, direction. So this yeah, it's called, come, and me, the... come and get me. This one's called Brucette, <laughs> right? Big bastard, come and get yeah, me. Yeah, Brucette. But he just said, come and get me, boy. So did they write into the law that it's a male shark? Come and get me, Brucette. <laughs> He's ready. The build up to this is nuts. <laughs> Open wide. Say cheese. <laughs> oh, dang. Bro, he would be dead. <laughs> yeah. The lightning jumps from the shark to his face. <laughs> and then he explodes. He doesn't need any petrol. He's just so fucking tanked up. <laughs> <laughs> Go up like a fireworks factory. Imagine if it like hard cut to a hospital on the mainland right now and all the power goes out as they're trying to like save someone's life. <laughs> oh, they killed all the people in the yeah, just like, every patient. Oh my god, dies everyone's dying. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it's a goddamn shark. <laughs> That's got a smoking eye. Did you see that? Like eyes all yeah, smoking. So in the lore, the shark right here that just got <clears throat> destroyed just gives birth to like the shark in Jaws four. <laughs> because of the electricity, I, I guess. <laughs> it forces it out. <laughs> he did it! My dad saved us, guys. 
No, you gotta find that Amish pilot. What a lame movie <laughs> compared to the first one. Yeah, I don't. I've never been a big fan of. And Jaws I think this too. is more egregious than the other ones because it's so closely Boring. related to the first one. Because you've got the chief yeah. repeating. They stuff. really tried to make it the same exact movie. They tried Just... to make like action film version of for the first one, and it doesn't work because it's like. I mean, Snow I don't. Shorts. I don't hate the movie, but it's definitely not. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, <laughs> like, Dad, stop giving people items of your clothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're running out. <laughs> the final oh, scene is my boy. just him yeah, in not, his underwear. It's not like the worst <laughs> film ever made. No. If you try and view it on its own terms. Like, yeah, I don't if even you think imagine I no it. other Jaws film. Oh, that is, it finished. Jeez, God, that's done. a hard cut to credits. Wow. Like, everybody yeah. get out of the theater. We're done. We ran yeah, out of film. Dead. Thanks for your money. <laughs> Thanks for your See money. <laughs> See you at Jaws 3. <laughs> we ran over the budget, sorry. This made a lot of money, right? Because there was a lot of people who went, would go see Jaws 2. Because the first one was such a huge, like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Jaws unexpected 2 was success. Huge. Yeah, Let me see. You, you put yourself in that, you know, in, in, in today's sort of society. Like, this film would be, like... Providing they didn't show any footage of it, mm -hmm. this film, you know, going into it anticipation-wise would be massive, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 And there wouldn't be like, many people who have seen trailers because they'd only been seen maybe in the movie fair. Oh, or yeah. On back TV, in the day. maybe. Yeah. Jaws 2 did less than half that uh, the original did. So Jaws did 472 million. And Jaws was, two did two hundred and eight million, but that's the, still pretty good. Like for the movie? for the time, yeah. that's pretty good. But it is like jo the first Jaws was like the highest grossing <laughs> film ever back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or wait, no, am I wrong? Did Star Wars beat it? Star Wars beat it, but that was two years after it. So Jaws set right. the precedent like, for like summer blockbusters, and this came out in seventy eight. So. It's dude. Brilliant. I just realized they don't actually <laughs> they don't escape in this movie. They're still on that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's actually the start of Castaway. Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be like a fan made Springer. sequel. Spring. Jerry Spring. Happily ever after on bloody Rum Island. <laughs> there should be a, a fan sequel where like the chief just slowly goes mad and starts like killing all the survivors Lord on the, the little flies. fucking rock. The thing is, though, um, they did. <laughs> his his other that? son knows where they are, so I think someone would come and rescue. No, uh, does he though? Yeah, yeah, he explained like where they were. That's how the chief knew where to find them. We're it's like, all right, mom, let's, we'll look for them in the so morning. If, it, if they didn't know, like they're not been back for days. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the chief didn't rescue him. We should go check on them and they get there. And just They've been the surviving chief. off like charred <laughs> shark meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only the cheap there. Well, there we go. That was it. That was Jaws 2. Jaws 2. With the uh, worst the movie old, uh, by any means, but definitely a step down. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Massive. I thought it was way Massive. better than the first one. Oh, really? See the, the first the one's a piece of shit. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. I love Jaws, man. I think... So here's, here's my real opinion, is Jaws 2 is actually a better movie than... Um, like Anaconda or something. But Is that for real? Your opinion? I honest, I'm not gonna lie. I I can't like Anaconda. I'd rather watch because of how crazy it is and the special effects are like fun. Yeah. But Jaws two, it's it's dumb, but it's not it's not Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez dumb. <laughs> no. Uh, what one? What one are you likely to watch again? Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> but if if this if Jaws two was made in nineteen ninety seven, you would get Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lopez, and Ice Cube as what the teenagers on that boat. No, Ice Cube is Chief Brody. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think what they needed is Samuel L. Jackson. Awesome. That's what, who they needed. How, how well did this film do in the opening weekend? Because oh, that's the real. Like it probably did huge in the opening weekend. This is the yeah. type of film, isn't it, that mm -hmm. would do well in the opening weekend, and then as soon as people have seen it, they say, "Yeah, no, don't go, shit." Like, <laughs> yeah. like, but that, bear in mind, though, that would be word of mouth. For it, then it probably did well. Mm. Yeah, I mean, 
I, I think I saw somewhere in like an interview, there was a couple of people that came out of theater like, that was great. Jaws ate a helicopter in this one. And that was like their review. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, I mean. It was a simpler time. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I do think Jaws 3 is where things get really wild, which, by the way, I've never seen that movie in actual 3D. I don't know about you, Jack, but like. No, I um, haven't either. It was filmed in 3D, and it's one of those movies from like the early 80s where they keep putting stuff like in the camera, like poking out at you. Like, mm. you ever seen like Friday the 13th Part 3 where there's like a yo yo like coming straight at yeah, the camera, yeah, and they're yeah. like, whoa. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> I haven't seen Jaws 3D in, in 3D. I know when it came out on Blu ray, they gave you the option for it because like. If, you Jaws 3D, Jake, the one that we've watched. And no, that, that was Jaws four. That was Jaws four. Four shark goes into the screen and it it just stops dead. Goes into no, like the glass tank. That is Jaws stops. three. That is yeah. Jaws three, but we haven't oh, watched it together. So bad. Yeah, it is bad. It's like a cutout cardboard thing, and they're all like slow motion. No, I remember when I was a kid though. The scene, in, the Jaws three, had the scene that freaked me out the most in it out of all the Jaws. What was that? And bear in mind the first one I hadn't watched in a while at the time. There's the bit where there's like there's this like hunter guy or scientist guy or whatever, he's like really cocky and he goes under the water to unlock a gate or something. Oh yeah, that, and then the, the shark yeah. eats him, but it but it's like because the shark's teeth are all at the front of the mouth and not the back, he, he ends up getting like sucked in deeper into the shark's mouth. And the shots from inside it, as it's like slowly crushing him with its like jaw, it's like yeah, he slowly yeah. gets crushed, and you can hear him under the water. Going, oh, oh, like this. Yeah, it's like, it's when I was cool, a kid, I was like, "That's gross. That's horrible." I wouldn't want to be eating. Like, is that the? Remember the part uh, later on in that movie where Dennis Quaid gets like swallowed, and then they're trying to? Isn't the mother shark in that movie like the size of a fucking megalodon? Yeah, it's ridiculous. And then there, he's like dead in the mouth, and they see his arm is like still grabbing hold of a grenade, and they yeah. have to like pull the pin and blow the fucking shark up. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Jaws two. Uh, Jeez. Eh. Yep. It's my review. It's just eh. Whatever. There were so many people on my channel saying that this movie was great, and I think what they're trying to say is that they enjoyed it, and it's better than Jaws three and four. I think that's what they meant. I agree with that. I, I prefer Jaws Free over it, if I'm honest. Oh, really? Yeah, cause I, I think the scale of the sequels goes backwards for me. Because Jaws Four, Free Two, in terms of like entertainment. Because when I'm watching these, I'm like, nothing's gonna be as good as the first film. Because the first film, right. not even just as a shark's film, is a really, really good movie. Yeah, it is character piece. And the other ones, I'm like, I'm just watching them for the entertainment value. So entertainment value with, is Four, Free. Is it two. Dennis Quaid? Hmm. The yeah, third, Dennis third Quaid. One, third one's in Dennis Quaid. Right? No, well, four has not to be confused with Randy Quaid from Independence Day. No, <laughs> no yeah. Dude, yeah. Hello, Dennis, boys. Dennis Quaid's I'm in back. part three, James. Not four. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah. Well, who are you thinking of? I don't know. Well, that is it. That's right. Mario Van Peebles is in part four. Yeah, I remember, and then there's Michael Caine in one, isn't there? Yep. And the yeah. wife, and uh, some guy with a beard. <laughs> Isn't there a bit where like Michael Caine sees the show? He's like, "Oh bloody hell!" Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a part in the movie where he lands his fucking plane on the water, and then the shark comes, and he's like, "Oh bloody hell!" And you don't know what happened to him. And then they cut to the side of the boat where he's like supposedly swam all the way to and gets on board, and his fucking clothes are like dry. He's bone dry. <laughs> He just gets on board. They're like, I guess he jumped like thirty feet onto the side <laughs> of the boat or something. That's amazing. It's it's hilarious, is what it is. Uh, Isn't it but, amazing uh, to think that, like, even that after four bit. films, there's That'd still people. Funny to go Sorry, Jack. Jack go I was going to say that like, after four fi Jaws films, as bad as they are, there are still people out there clamoring for Jaws five. They want Spielberg to do it. <laughs> of course, he won't do it. <laughs> It'd be amazing if he did, though. I'd be. What were you going to say, James? The Meg. Um, no, I was going to say um, this is one of those films that it'd be good to do um, dubbing over the top. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty much what we did for my. <laughs> yeah. 
because I couldn't hear the dialogue. All I could hear was you four like rabbiting on, going on about. <laughs> you didn't need to hear the dialogue. Nothing important Nothing. happened in that movie. <laughs> we can retitle the film "Jaws Too Drunk to Talk." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or drunk Jaws. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I. I... <sighs> I this is one usually when I was a kid watching a lot of monster movies and stuff I try to get my dad's opinion and he really liked the first Jaws and I'd ask him I was like damn dad because I I think I saw I saw Jaws four first and then I saw the original in Jaws three and the second one was hard to find and I was like dad what's Jaws two about and he's like ah eh, some stupid shit on a bunch of sailboats <laughs> that's um, like the exact same experience I had with the Jaws movie plane was it really yeah four then i watched one then three and then two as i said earlier my little story like took me ages to see yeah two two took me forever too because i remember before like finding that trailer at my school computer i used to check the tv guide so much to see if it was coming (laughs) on tv and i remember actually just remembered a memory which i'd forgotten actually where i remember seeing it in a tv guide and it was like on a past week so i just missed it and i was like no and i had to like wait and i was like calling up friends did you record it did you get anyone get jaws 2 jesus go into the video library do you have jaws 2 no we don't have it no son yeah it's gonna rot your brain (laughs) (laughs) do you have jaws 2 how dare you get the hell out never get out of here son only alcoholics watch that. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to stop the ABS. Oh, yeah. I need... <laughs> I'm going to stop recording audio Bye. right now. I think I'm going to uh, 